Welcome to Streak. In this video, we'll show you how Streak works and helps you organize your inbox, collaborate with your team, and be more productive in Gmail. This video is an introduction to help you understand the different ways you can use Streak. We'll go into more detail about setting up and beginning to use Streak in following videos. First, let's do a quick overview of the key components of Streak and how they all fit together. Our inboxes are full of emails with our contacts, like the email here with my contact Joelle. With Streak, we can organize all of those emails into boxes. A box is a place to store all of our information about a certain thing that we're tracking. So we can add emails, jot down notes, attach files, create tasks for ourselves, and more, and keep it all organized in one place. We can also share these boxes with our teammates when we need to collaborate on deals or share information cross-functionally. Depending on what we're tracking, a box could be a sales lead, a support ticket, a candidate for a job, or anything else. In this example, we're tracking sales leads, and here we have our lead, Red Rooster Cafe. Each of our boxes is listed as a row in a pipeline. We move it through stages in our process as we complete actions like reaching out to a lead for the first time, giving a demo, scheduling interviews, or resolving a support ticket. Now that we've seen how we can organize emails and information in boxes and pipelines, we'll dive in and see how it all works. Let's start somewhere familiar, the Gmail inbox, and take a closer look at my email with Joelle from Red Rooster Cafe. Since I've added this email to a box in Streak, we can see the box details in the sidebar. This shows us what pipeline stage our lead is in, and that the next step is to send them coffee samples. We can also see who this lead is assigned to, and that there are a couple tasks to complete before we move them to the next stage. The contacts section shows us the individual people and companies that are involved in this deal. There's Joelle, and all of her contact information is organized in this contact card. From here, I can create a calendar invite for our upcoming call and invite her with one click. Reviewing my team's activity helps us stay up to date on recent calls and other interactions so we know where the conversation left off before replying to an email. We can also see details that we're tracking, like what products they're interested in, how they learned about us, and more. If I learn something new in an email, I can update this lead in the sidebar without leaving my inbox. All of this information is organized within the box for this lead. This sidebar shows us information from the box, and we can navigate to the Red Rooster Cafe box from here. In addition to holding all of our information, the box is a workspace for this lead where we can find our tasks, comments that my team and I left for each other, emails that we've shared in Streak, and notes from our calls and meetings in chronological order. We can even add files to boxes to keep everything super organized. But we're not just tracking this lead in Streak. We can track all of our leads in shared pipelines. Here's the Red Rooster Cafe box that we were just looking at. It's one row in this pipeline, and we have a row for every sales lead that we're working with. Clicking any of these rows will open a box where we can find information about that lead. In addition to our sales leads, we have pipelines to track other processes like customer training, support, content, and hiring. Each pipeline is completely customizable. Remember when we updated the close date from the sidebar in our email with Joelle? Close date and the other fields that we saw are columns in this pipeline, and we can add as many columns as we need to track all of the important details about our leads. We can also add columns, which are called magic columns, where Streak automatically fills in the data for us. For example, here's a column that automatically shows who sent the last email and when, how many emails we've exchanged, and how many days this lead has been in the current stage. Check out our deep dive video on columns to learn more about different types of columns that you can add to your pipeline. As my team adds more emails and data to Streak, we use the information in our pipelines to prioritize our daily work. 
I created a saved view to filter based on the assigned to column and show only the deals that are assigned to me. And another view to show me which deals haven't had any interaction in a week so I know where I need to follow up. My third saved view shows me all of the deals that were closed this week by my team. Once we know what needs attention, we can take a look at our leads that need follow-up and create a mail merge to reach out with personalized emails to each lead. This only takes a moment because my team has created a series of snippets that help us save time while still delivering a custom message. I can also choose to see any boxes that end up in this filter front and center in my inbox by clicking show in inbox for this saved view. That way they're on my radar and I can reach out as soon as they meet my filter criteria. Finally, let's take a look at today's tasks to make sure we're staying on top of our to-do list. From here, we can reach out to contacts with one click to send emails, make calls, or schedule calendar invites, and keep our pipeline moving. Now that you've seen some of the ways Streak can help you get organized and speed up your workflow, take some time to explore our Getting Started checklist and learn more with videos and product tours. In the following lessons, we'll show you how to get set up and get started.